Good evening. I pray all is well with you. I'm honored to have you tonight on Good Friday. Tonight is a, a night where we are celebrating and remembering what Jesus has done for us uh, on the cross. Uh, this week has been a very interesting week. We've had fast and we've had revelation come to us. I pray that increase has come. I pray that signs, miracles, and wonders have shown up. As you can see behind me, we shall see miracles, signs, and wonders. And so I want to talk with you briefly uh, before we go into the rest of this uh, evening's uh, activities. I'll say uh, we have a dance recital um, to watch. Amen. God is good. And so I want to start with prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this time. Father, we thank you for the opportunity that you have brought us together with. And Father, I ask that you will bless us, cover us, and keep us, increase us as we move forward and walk this walk in memory of you. And Father, as we do this, that we remember what you have done for us in treating one another and taking care of what you have given us, that we understand it's by the grace that you have given us life. In Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. All right. So I want to talk with you uh, about today and why it's so important to remember and value. OK, I'm going to give you a scripture uh, that comes to my mind, and that is Luke 23 and 34. But before I get there, I want to talk with you about the value that you're supposed to have for your Savior, Jesus Christ. And remembering this is very important. See, because it's not about Easter, it's about Resurrection Sunday. Easter is the way that the world identifies, you know, to try to cover up and distract those who really need the truth from finding the truth. Sunday is Resurrection Sunday. Good Friday is the day that he was crucified. And Sunday, day that he rose and so I need you to understand the value of this he died on today this day we represent or we identify this day he died and on resurrection Sunday he rose he rose he rose he rose okay so uh, it's very important to understand this because Nobody could ever do this but him. Nobody could do this but Jesus. And I don't care who says what. The proof is in the pudding. You can find this in history without looking in the Bible. And you can find it in six to seven other faiths, major faiths. They identify that Jesus died the way he died. And they know for a fact that he rose. If if our producers can pull up the scripture, uh, Luke 23, verse 34, and it says, Then Jesus, Father, said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. See, so today is that day of memory. Because when he was on the cross, that's what he said. They don't know what they are doing. Forgive them. Give them grace. Because they don't know. They don't truly know what they're doing. And I want you to remember this. In some way, shape, or form, give grace. Give grace. Ask God to forgive those who wrong you. Give grace. When people impose, give grace. When people encourage you to do something out of the way. Give grace. God, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. Give grace. And so think about that grace that he died with for our lives on today. 
That's all I want you to remember. And that's what I want you to think about today. And that's something that resonated with me in this moment of memoration concerning what Jesus had did on that cross for all of us. Me and my sins. Yours too. I'm Pastor Rudy. And it's truly been a blessing. Um, Get ready to enjoy this dance from our prophetic dancers at WPKU. Peace out. God bless you. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsting in my soul bread from heaven feed me till i want no more fill my cup fill it up and make
oh my, my, my. 